Lighting is an important aspect of portrait photography. Professional photographers know how to orient their subjects with respect to the light and the environment to generate different looks. In this orientation, the whole face is evenly lit. In this orientation, the left half of the face is bright, while the right half is dark. In general, many different looks are available, but choosing an orientation that makes the best use of the available lighting in an environment requires experience. We present a capture time tool that helps photographers orient their subject. The photographer first uses a 360 camera as a light probe and takes a bracketed set of exposures to form a high dynamic range environment map that captures the light in the scene. Our tool contains a gallery of target lighting styles. We load our environment map and our tool immediately computes the optimal orientation for each of these styles. The gallery visualizes the target lighting styles at the optimal angles. This one gives us a bright, evenly lit butterfly lighting. We can toggle to see how well it matches the original lighting. This one gives us a more dramatic split lighting. Some of the styles are grayed out because our tool finds that the target style is unattainable in the current environment. We select butterfly and the tool switches to the reorientation guidance screen. It tells us how to rotate to produce the desired lighting. Here's the current camera view, and here's the target view, which shows us the background at the target orientation. The goal is to match the current view to that background. As we get close to the background, we can turn on alignment mode, which shows us how well the two views are aligned. Once we're happy with the alignment, we take the photo, giving us the even lighting of the butterfly style. We can then select another target, like left rim. Reorient accordingly. Check the alignment. And take another photograph that captures the strong highlight on the contour of the face, characteristic of rim lighting. Internally, our tool takes the target lighting and the environment map as input and computes an image quality metric for each orientation of the lighting. For this target, it's maximized at 180 degrees, and the PRT rendering is a good match to the target lighting. We can similarly visualize the metric for silhouette lighting. For this scene, we have photos at every 5 degrees, so we show them changing with the current orientation. We've tested our tool with a number of different locations and people. Here are some of the photos at the optimal orientation for different target lighting styles. For the right loop target, we can see the desired key triangle on the subject's left cheek. Here are some rim results. Notice the highlight on the contour of the face. This indoor scene is darker, so the contour isn't as strongly illuminated. Here are some butterfly results with even lighting. In a given environment, some targets, like this one that requires light from both sides of the face, are not achievable. In this situation, our formulation can also help place an additional light source like a phone screen to help achieve it. On the left, we see the result without the additional light source, and on the right, with the additional light as a rim light. Here's the setup for that portrait. Here are some more results using an additional light source. We also provide a painting interface to allow users to adjust targets. Here, a user is adjusting the split lighting to be a little brighter in the middle. Here is the result. On the left, you see the result before the adjustment, and on the right, you see the result with the adjustment. We ran a study with 28 participants, including eight expert photographers. Participants were asked to capture three photos. They found our tool in task three significantly more useful than the other two methods, and generated better lit portraits. For amateurs, our interface reduced the cognitive load required to achieve a target lighting style. More results are in our supplemental materials. Thank you.